Oh, I am live. Hooray. I'm just out. I'm uh, literally just got in about like five minutes ago. Enough time to have some coffee and a quick cigarette and like say hello. And, and I said to the ladies like, oh, I've, I've spent some money. I thought it was 50 quid. But it's actually 60 quid I spent um, on a big pile of stuff. And um, obviously I'm going to show you, but I'm also going to have some coffee as well. Mm. Um, it's like good news and bad news in this. So you do a shit sandwich, don't you? Hey. So you do a sh the shit sandwich. So sadly, um, my favorite shop in Cowbridge, which is Posh End up that way, on the way to Cardiff, the, um, that's Posh Town. So my favorite shop there remains closed down. Boo, hiss, boo. Good news, they've moved all the stuff to pretend. So they were just putting it out today. Oh, Kirsten, I'm glad you're here because I've got something to show you. All I need, I, I need Kirsten and I need Louise as well. And yes, I will need you. So someone, someone go and nudge Louise for me because I will need her in a sec. But yeah, so they've moved all the stuff to Bridgen Shop and they're not charging Cowbridge prices, which is great. So I, they were just putting out today and the guy was like, all right, Lexi, how are you? It's like, yeah, you want to buy into them? Like, yeah, I want to spend some money today. So I spent 40 quid in Emmaus and we were having a chat about, um, you know, Pilot High Sell It Cheap. They've got loads and loads of stuff at their warehouse and things. And, you know, the My Steak shop isn't open and the Cowbridge shop is closed. And I don't think the Puth Call shop is open because I know Joan, uh, if Joni Joan comes in. I know she went there the other day and she said it was closed. So Bridge End has got all of it and they're just like, yeah, buy it, buy it. Let's get the money in the till. And that's exactly how charity shops should work. Get the money in the till. That is the most important thing, isn't it? Yes. Right. So I'll say some hello hellos. So hello, Dawn Sherry Paul. Um, hey, Heather. Hey, Rebecca. Tasty. I wore um, my scarf around today and I felt really posh. Um, L33 Misses, which is Carrie. Yes. Um, Jane. Hi, Jane. Kirsten. I will need you in a second. Um, Nadine. Karen. Hey, Claire. Hey, Queenie, mother of Norman, um, Deborah, and and yes, it's all in Bridgen now. How fabulous! Yeah. So, oh, little update on my lamp shades. If I will, you be able to see? There it is. I put one up. So that one's the like slightly not as good as the other one. So the other one I'm selling. It does look like it's the Gazzoni one, if uh, Stephen's Horse 69 um, watches this later. But yeah, so that one I'm keeping and I bloody love it. I'm like, I look, keep looking at it going like, damn, it just looks so cool. Like, I love it, absolutely freaking love it. I do have a star buy today, which I will keep until the end because I'm still not entirely sure. I just had a quick look and went, oh, oh. Um, but yeah, I'll keep that one till the end. Right, um, and so uh, hello Lisa and hello Sarah as well. So I'll start off with the slightly more boring things. Well, not boring, you know, your standards. Um, I did spend another £26 to get batteries put in these watches and all fixed and everything. Um, so I think in it's worth it. I job lot up and sell on like... The bits that are like, oh, they're, they're on the border of it being worth getting fixed. When I say fixed, I mean like they probably just need batteries or, um, you know, like the some of them I couldn't get the backs back on and stuff like that. So these are the ones that I think are, are worth putting new batteries in and having work. So um, most of these are vintage. So this is a Loris Luma Bright. So it costs £26 to get all these fixed. So a Loris Luma Bright. Um, a Timex Indie Glow. These are pretty much all. Yes, India. Um, Louise, I will need you in a second. Uh, we've got a Swatch Watch, which is a bit mank on the back, but I can fix that up. So a Swatch Watch from 2001. A rather swanky Storm Watch, which I'm thinking is probably like a vintage one. Just 
pretty cool. Another Storm watch. That one, ladies watch. This is a um, QVC brand. So this is um, Lee Sands, who does some really nice jewelry. So if you ever see like Mother of Pearl style stuff, that he does like really cool lion earrings and things. But this is a watch of his with a nice Mother of Pearl face in there. And then this little um, Winnie the Pooh, little fob watch. So £26 to get them all done up and stuff. So I can sell them all on individually now. So they were worthwhile doing, I think. Right, Louise, while I've got you, this is what I kind of need your help on. Or just, you know, I bought some curtains, but don't worry, it's not like I'm, you know, going to copy you and take over the, the curtain market. It's literally just these curtains. And they were £2. Do they have the measurements on them? Pair of curtains, 66 by 52 inches. In really nice condition. They've been nicely pressed and everything. And I just thought, like, that's a rather chintzy kind of fabric. And, you know, country core and all of that. And then I saw the label and it says Dorma, the Country Diary Collection, 1977 Richard Webb. So that's the label on it. And they are a polyester and cotton mix, but I thought they were in fabulous condition, like super, super nice. They may have been taken up because I can see some run stitches on it, but I figure for two quid, that was worth a punt just for some, even if people just want it as chintzy fabric, you know, but I thought that was worth a go. Let me know what you think, Louise. I hope you saw that okay then. Copy. Yeah. So yeah, let me know what you think to that one. You literally just I uh, don't worry, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna muscle in on the on the whole curtains thing. They they're like um I, I I've got like a you know the gentleman's thing that you hang trousers on and like suits and stuff. I've got one of them that I suppose I can, you know, photograph them on, but um it's just not a oh because it's just not a thing that particularly interests me. It was literally just because they were on the two pound grill and I thought, what an amazingly chintzy fabric. Yeah. So, um, oh, hey, Peter. But yeah, I thought they were just so chintzy and like they've been kept super lovely. They don't smell, they've been pressed really nice. Like, they don't even smell, you know, of like charity shop old or anything. They they just smell like they've been in, um, oh, you know, like in a in an airing cupboard, and that's it. So I just thought it was worth it for two quid. I mean, even just for the material, isn't it? Oh man, I've just lost my I've just lost my loop under the the. Hold on. Quality live broadcast. Ooh, what's that? Oh, I've just found a ring. <laughs> I've just found a ring under the sofa. No, it's nothing special. I just found that under the sofa. As you do, like. Um, you bought mouldy curtains once. Yeah. Well, that's not very nice, is it? Don't do that. Hey, Gimbal. So, yeah, was, was that a, a good buy? I hope that was a, a reasonably good buy. Right, two pounds. This chocolatier and con contisseur. Anyway, just a nice tapestry bag. And um, Dorma Country Collection sells well. I think that print is called Summer Scent. I'd list it for 40 and definitely put vintage fabric. Thank you very much, Louise. You are an absolute pleasure. Thank you. But yeah, two quid for this, and it is a brand called Signar, Signare, Signe. But yeah, <laughs> it's the one, my precious. 
Um, but yeah, I just thought that was quite nice. The hardware on it is still quite nice. There's a little bit of, you know, way to the top of it, as you'd expect with a tapestry bag, I suppose. But their tapestry bags sell reasonably well. So for £2, probably going to go for 15 on those. This um, little hand-knitted bag was a pound, but I thought, what a fab colour with nice retro-style plastic um, handles, almost like a knitting bag, but a little bit small to put like, your uh, knitting needles in. Hey, Becca. Confiture, I think, is ja Ah, Of course it is. Of course it is. But yeah, I just thought that was quite cute. Someone like that, especially because it's fabulous colour. <laughs> Again, two pounds. This is a Bowden small little uh, waistcoat gilet thing. I'm not, I'm trying not to buy things like Bowden and jewels and all of that just because there's lots of it out there. But I thought that's a nice autumn kind of thing. And hopefully, and it's like that, you know, almost like suede -y, like moleskin kind of thing. So I'm hoping that that will go quite quick and it's in good condition and stuff. So for two quid. I thought that was probably worth it. This will need a wash, and I think it's a men's one, but this nice, like, boating blazer. That's kind of cool. And I just thought there's, it definitely needs a wash, it's stinking, but it's got quite a nice, like, floral trim on the inside. Maybe a crochet bag. Oh, good point. Yes. For hobbyists. Um, 100% cotton, and I haven't looked this up yet, but New and Lingwood? Never heard of it. But I just thought that was, you know, a nice little regatta boating blazer, but definitely needs a good old wash because it is kind of stinking. Hi, Lucy. Hi, Nia. How you doing? Right, done then, done then, done then. So another two pounds. This is a vintage St. Michael's made in West Germany. So this is 80s. Nice little belted wiggle skirt. So, like, that's pretty standard, isn't it? Hey, Stu. Okay, no, no worries, Kirsten. Thank you. It's only because it's similar to a couple of things that you put up in your, on your Instagram the other day. But yeah, just a nice standard wiggle skirt with a nice belt on it. But that's fab. It's a little bit 50s looking. Good quality. Marks and Spencers, two quid. Happy with that. A handmade skirt. Um, hey, Nikki. But again, I, I was like, oh, please be Laura Ashley. Please be Laura Ashley. It looks, it's handmade. But I just thought the fabric on that was kind of fabulous as well. So pleated, a little bit of a drop waist on it. Boating jacket sold recently for $59.99. Boom, there we go. <laughs> Thank you very much, Louise, yay. Um, but yeah, I think this is, yeah, it's definitely homemade. There's no tags or anything in it and you can see all the stitching and things like that. But I thought it was nice enough high clear uh, to buy for two quid. Again, happy days. Two quid for a horrendous, but also awesome. This is your sixth cent, so this is CNA. Everyone hide your biscuits. <laughs> um, for this rather 90s, see-through red with roses on blouse. So that's fabulous, a little bit goth, a little bit new romantic, but very 90s. And again, two quid, that's cool. And then this one, I'm not sure what size it is, but if it's my size, I'm keeping it. It's a size 10, I'm not a size 10. But this I think is fabulous. So again, like a sheer midi dress, but in this awesome like dog print tea dress dog tooth print tea dress but if that was my size I would be keeping that because I think it is really cool nice buttons down the front and everything and I really like that so there right 
that's pretty much clothing. Oh no, I've got two more bits of clothing, sort of. Right, you know when you pay up for something, but you pay up for a reason. Now, in the Emea shop, I was in a total like, I want to buy lots of things kind of mood. And I just kept piling and piling and piling stuff up. So I ended up spending £38.50 in there, of which £6 of it was this. Um, but vintage wool scarf, lamb's wool, made in Scotland. There's no particular brand on it. So it's not like it's, you know, um, a Harris Tweed or anything like that. But the fact that it's lamb's wool, made in Scotland and new in its sort of new in its original box uh six quid i think but well, i can definitely turn a profit on that and it is really lovely as well really nice i do like that i do so we're happy with that and then in the two quid shoes bin i picked up just a standard pair of clark shoes size six but nice work shoes with a little kitten heel like little dolly shoes. Good for dancing in actually, aren't they? So good rockabilly kind of dancing shoes and good for work as well. I mean, two quid in a size six, that should be a pretty standard easy sell. You would hope. Um, well, I, I would list it as vintage, Nadine. Um, so I'd list, is there an option on there? It would be new and then new other or new with defects. So I'd list it under the vintage accessories section, but I would put new other um, and just describe that, you know, it is new old stock, it's been in storage and that the box has some wear, but the scarf hasn't been out of the box. Right, other little bits is, I bought this because it was campus tits and covered in dust but it is a picture frame stroke letter wrap, which I've broken. That's all right, it wanted to come out anyway. <laughs> and let's put that back together. That goes in first, then the picture. And then that attaches to that. I'll have to fix that later. Anyways, it's campus tits, mid-century, letter rack, brass. I'll fix that in a bit, it'll be all right. Right, this is a bit of a punt, and it's not the kind of thing I normally like buying because this is very breakable. But I just thought it was lovely. What a lovely little countryside scene on there. You're like two girls going for a walk. There's windmills in the background, so I presume that it's Dutch, if you can see. But I just thought that was like really nice. I mean, I've, I've not really seen anything like this and it's not the kind of thing I would normally buy. Hey, Daryl, hey, Julie, if I haven't said so. But yeah, I just, can you see the windmill there in the distance? I just thought it was a, a, unusual. It's only pressed glass, but I just think it's, I just think it's nice, you know, as a serving tr tray, like at Christmas. That's kind of cool, isn't it? Oh, I got something for myself. And that is, I spent two pounds on a swimming cap because hopefully we'll be able to go swimming soon. Is there just the one in there? Yeah. So a silver swimming cap, silicone, long life. For some reason it's got senior written on it. I don't know why it would be a senior one. Maybe it's more delicate on the hair. Sweet glass tray probably for cheese. So good at Christmas time for when you've got like your Emmental and stuff and your Gouda and things. I got this and then when I got it home, I realized that there's a big bit missing so that was silly but hopefully I can still sell it in some way it's obviously it's some scales and does it go there and then there should be like a a bowl that sits on the top is it this way round 
or is it that it's that way round? No. Oh, it's like that, is it? And then does that attach to like a countertop? And then you put a thing on there and you weigh it like that. But that was three quid anyway. And I thought it's just worth it for the punt. And it's got all like, is it? F anyway, I just thought it was cool and unusual and a little bit steampunky. So I bought it because I was in a buying mood. And I just think it's kind of cool. Who's messaging me? Oh, is that? Um, oh, Josh, they sell quick. Thank you, Josh. Why aren't you watching me, Josh? What is that? Oh, that bit of glass has come off that picture frame. Do not step on that bit of glass. It's a good job I only paid a quid for that, isn't it? Oh, right. I did spend, this was this three, three quid for Lipview Stratton Compact, which is like way too much, okay? Don't spend three quid on Stratton Lipview con, con, blah, Compact. It's literally just because I wanted to buy a load of things and because I, it's new in its box. So it still has the original tube in there to like, so that bit doesn't squish. So never used, but look at that pattern on there. How lovely and like 60s is that? Like that's so cool, isn't it? I realize that you are now commenting on stuff that is like a minute ago for me. So when you're saying, just like you, I'm like, I'm new in my box, what? How bizarre. <laughs> but yeah, lip view, stratton. I would hope for about 12 quid on that one because it is quite nice and you know, still got all its original packaging and things. So that's cool. Right. Kirsten, Kirsten, come back, Kirsten. While Kirsten is hopefully coming back, I'll show you the books that I bought, which were uh four for a pound. Right, these are possibly for my nephew if they're not really worth anything or the other way around. These are for my nephew and this, if he doesn't want them, I'll sell them anyways. So this is the Playfair Rugby Football Annual 50 to 51, President of the Rugby Union and this cost five shillings originally. So I just thought like if that's a, that might be a collector's thing, I don't know. But for, you know, the equivalent of 25p it's you know worth finding out and then this i've heard of this guy apparently he's um oh shut up that's not signed no it is okay this is jpr williams who is apparently like a really big welsh rugby player i i don't know but Bloody signed. That's cool. Wow, when was this made? Um, does it say? Wow, this is quadrant scales. Thank you very much, Kirsten. And I will need you again in a second. 1979, first published. Night. Um, so this is also a first edition. First edition and signed. Okay. Well, look that one up. That could be um, a cool thing. And then these are uh, sort of for me and because I quite liked the covers. Again, these are very mid-century books. Um, yeah, but yeah, he's a 70s rugby player. And it's signed. Um, yeah, so these are for me. They're the Science Fiction Book Club. So Philip K. Dick. Do we all know what Philip K. Dick wrote? Um, he wrote um, Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep, which then kind of became Blade Runner, and The Man in the High Castle, which Amazon turned into a TV series. And then I haven't heard of this one, No Place Like Earth. 
but I just thought they were very cool, like books that um, they're probably going to go on on mine in my collection again, unless they're worth like a billion pounds, which you know they might do. Uh, so this is 1961. Yeah, 1961. So I just, I just, you know, they're just nice, aren't they? I love old sci-fi books. They're just cool. So happy with them. This is what I need Kirsten for. So she, um, she showed some things on her Instagram earlier this week. And then I saw some similar things in the shop today, and these were a pound each, and I was like, well, it's worth a punt, you know. So this lovely geisha um, porcelain, so nice porcelain, uh, only for 69 Oh, that's a shame. Never mind. I'll see if my nephew wants it then. But, yeah, lovely porcelain geisha. So that's very pretty. I mean, her hair's a bit tousled, shall we say. But she's cool. And then this is what I wanted to ask Kirsten about. It's probably just modern repro stuff, but she had something quite similar, a similar dude the other day. Oh, you love Time Out of Drawing, um, how to read it in uni. All right, cool. I'll just take a look at it. But yeah. I just thought he was kind of unusual and someone will love him, won't they? And for a quid, you know. Um, oh, I bought some Christmas lights for a fiver. Well, not Christmas, just, just funky lights. I think they are vintage by the look of the plug. That looks like a vintage -y sort of plug, don't they? Maybe, but... I just think they're, they're all lovely different like dual kind of shapes, and nice stars and things. And they will sell, you know, for a fiver, I should hope like 20 quid on them. Or um, again, I might just keep them, you know. For 50p, um, modernish tourists were sell them in the shop for about eight pounds. Cool, thanks, thank you Kirsten. I mean, again, for fifty um, for a pound, it was just kind of worth the finding out about something new, isn't it? Yeah, nice little little brass service bell with a nice wooden turn handle. There's no maker's mark, and there's a little bit of patina in there, but fifty p. That's quite all right, isn't it? For three pounds. Three pounds. I bought this gorgeous bowl. Look at that. So nice, like Millefiori glass bowl. It was all the pressed flowers in there. I just thought that was super, super lovely. Like, really nice. And it's got the dip. See, it's dipped in the bottom, and you can see, um, like, where the glass has been like cut off and stuff. So, you know, it's it's like a hand-blown piece, I think, anyway. Oh, hi, Dorothy. Yay. But, yeah, I just think that is really, really nice. And I was happy to spend three quid on that. Like, uh, I, it's lovely, you know. Nice bit of workmanship and stuff. 99p I spent on this. It's an egg cup. And it's Tigger. The wonderful thing about Tiggers, Tiggers are wonderful things. The heads are made out of rubber. The bottoms are made out of springs. They're bouncy, trouncy, flouncy, something fun, 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 fun. The wonderful thing about Tiggers is, yeah, I'm the only one. I'm the only one. Ooh. And it's just stamped Disney on the bottom. It's not stamped like, you know, foreign or China or anything like that. But I think, again, worth the punt. No, no crazy lampshades today. Danish glass, I was thinking Italian. Like, um, yeah, I think I was thinking Italian glass on this. 
Oh, you've sold that egg cup before. How much did you get for it, Karen? Tell me, like a million to pounds. Obviously, everything's a million to pounds, obviously. I bought a jigsaw for £2.50. Again, I haven't looked this up, but um, it says blessings of Christmas and it's a thousand piece and it's sealed. And if I did Amazon, that would probably be the kind of thing I would send up there, but I don't want it to Amazon. It sounds like a nightmare. But I thought that's quite a nice, pretty little picturesque jigsaw. Um, 2002, so it's almost vintage. It's Y2K, not quite vintage. And you know, a thousand pieces sealed Christmas. Yeah, I'll have some of that. You know, right? This is a good one for a pound, and this is like the ultimate Josh picker. It is a Le Creuset salt pig. So eight pound plus P and P. Okay, that'll do. That'll do. But yeah, Le Creuset. Nice condition, nice colour, salt pig. It's not dirty, it doesn't even look like it's been used, it looks like it's just been sat there. It looks like someone has bought it for someone and that someone didn't know what it was, so they just kept it on the side and went, oh, that's lovely, thank you very much. Yes. So, um, Josh reckons apparently about 30 quid on that one, or and Nick says they, they've sold one similar. So, Happus yawn on that one. Hey Kelly, you nearly missed everything, but you are nearly in time, like in a few objects time, to see my thing. It goes with your pans that you are selling. So you can't buy this, Karin, okay? Because you're getting rid of those pans. Right, I don't normally buy mugs because they're a freaking nightmare. However, these were 50 pence each. And I think I have chosen well. The salt pigs are twelve ninety nine in TK Maxx at the moment. Yeah, but we don't tell people that. I'm not going to list it at twelve ninety nine. Sold that. <laughs> um, right. Yes, mugs. So this all mugs were fifty p. This is a lovely stoneware lions of Longleat tankard. So that's rather fabulous, isn't it? I like that one. This one, Wedgwood Home, 1995, mug collection, blue jug collage, fine porcelain. It says, when, when man is tired of London. There we go. Oh, no, so I can buy more. Ah, I get it. Oh, I'd have to go all the way to Cardiff for TK Maxx, though. Palava, and then get home on the train. But yeah, maybe. Uh, yeah, there you go. So that's Wedgwood Home. Billy T, the Billy T trademark. So this is the original Australian oh. Billy mug, all Australian made Dynamo House. So here we go. Billy T, some advertising mug. This one is Country Lane by Poole. So Poole Pottery. So that's got some nice pictures of plants. Veronica Teocrium, Veronica Angalis Aquatica, and Alcamilla Vulgaris, and Rumex Conglomatratus, or something. So yeah, there's that one. Off to Widdicombe Fair. That's quite cute. There is a mark on the bottom, but I can't quite read it. But again, that's quite good fun. Thank you, Jane. That's nice. And then my favourite mug. My favourite mug. This is the Apollo 11 First Moon Landing. Um, 20, uh, 20, 20th to 21st of July, 1969. No maker on it, but how cool is that i freaking love that i mean that and and you know and, and like a bit of like ah love it freaking love it 
and it's still got a gold sticker on it from something. Oh, Prince William Weir. Oh, Prince William Weir, apparently. But yeah, I, I love that. That is so fantastically like space oddity awesomeness. Love it. I mean, it may be a keeper depending on, you know, how much it's worth. And then the little bits, and Kelly will hopefully be proud of me in a second. Right, these aren't Lambourns, but they still sell. They're the, um, you know, like shirt sleeve garters. So that, that was 50p. A little gold tone necklace, which has got an N on the back, which may be from Napier, I don't know, but I'll have to look it up. But a little sparkly heart. That's cute. And then this little sparkly one. That's just quite nice. It's all right. I don't expect huge amounts on them, but they were only 50p. And then possibly star purchase. Not a gold chain, but it looks like a gold locket. And I've literally only just, as I was pulling them all, like arranging all the stuff around me, to um you know to show all you guys i was like oh there's a mark on the back 50p there's a hallmark on the bale and it's tiny so no wonder it got missed but i'm pretty sure that i can see 375 on there but it's absolutely tiny but it is so pretty. Look at that lovely etched butterfly and flowers on there. Is it stamped inside? No, no stamp inside. No. Nothing inside. But yeah, that is definitely a hallmark on the back. It's just so freaking tiny. But yeah, I think, I think I can see 375 on there. But yeah, not bad. What 50p? Yay! <laughs> so yay, gold, gold. Do, 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 do. I love my sofa too. This was from a charity shop. Um, I, I have a thing about Chesterfields because it's very Kubrick. He often put um, like button back stuff in his uh, films because Chesterfields are just awesome. And I love green. Green is like my favorite color and orange. Um, and I walked into a charity shop in town. It was the Hart Foundation Furniture Shop and they had this and it was six six hundred pounds I spent on this. But it's brand new when I bought it. The person that um that donated it, they had it from made.com and it was one thousand two hundred pounds. Andrew, you've missed everything. <laughs> everything. But yeah, it was £1,200 when it was new and literally, like, they had it delivered, didn't like it, and then had the charity shop take it away, which is mental. So they put a £600 price tag on it and I saw it and I was like, that's the freaking one. This is the sofa of my dreams and I do, I love this. I love this sofa. So, yeah. Yeah, sadly, you've missed everything, Andrea, everything. But gold for 50p, gold for 50p. And other favorite bits, other favorite bits are my sci-fi books, which are just lush. And um, my Apollo 11 moon landing mug. Cause it's just cool. Just cool. Oh, and my, um, my glass bowl. Which I think is beautiful. So, oh, and and obviously, but Andrew knows about this already. 
because I, I sent a picture. The Le Creuset salt pig. So yes, I think I think I've done well. For Sixty pounds today, and I'm well chuffed at that. <laughs> Woo! Yay! Go team Lex. Um. Yeah. So that's it then, um, everyone. Uh, what time is it now? It's three o'clock. So I've been on for forty minutes. Well done for putting up with me for that long. I'm gonna have to go and um, keep all of these things in a corner so they can, you know, all make friends and mix with other people, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And then I'll get round to listing them at some point. But for now, they will be sat on my mid-century table on the side there, apart from the books, which will make friends with. What should I put them next to? What will they want to be friends with? Aldous Huxley? You might be friends with Aldous Huxley. Or we've got Clockwork Orange over there they could sit next to. Oh, no, what am I on about? They're going to sit next to um, Arthur C. Clarke's Mysterious World. There we go. Yay. So thank you, everyone. I'm going to be off now and sort all of this stuff out. So um, thank you for joining me and I shall see you again and a bye-bye now. A bye.